So here we have a parabola. You already know from that parabola that it's going down. You already know that it would have a maximum at that point. So sometimes it's nice to take something that you already can see a picture of it in your head and then see how the calculus also shows you the same thing. So here we've got our function. If we take our derivative, we're going to get negative 2x plus 5, setting our derivative equal to 0. We get x is equal to 5 over 2. That's going to be our critical point, because when x is equal to 5 over 2, we know that our derivative would be 0. So we make our number line, and this is where this is the first derivative test right here, is where you choose a value before 5 over 2 and after 5 over 2 to find out if it's a relative minimum or a relative maximum. Now, in this case, if I choose a number less than 5 over 2, 0 seems like an easy number to do some mental math with. If I plug 0 into my derivative, I find out my derivative would be 5, which is a positive value, meaning that my function is increasing before 5 over 2. And if I plug in a number bigger than 5 over 2, like a million, then negative 2 times a million plus 5 will still be a relatively large negative number, which means that it's decreasing after that. And since we already knew we had a parabola that was going down, this seems to make sense. This tells us right now that 5 over 2 comma something And in this case, it's an absolute maximum, but we know that it, it is a maximum. How do we find out the y-coordinate that goes with this? Put it back into the original question. So you'd have 5 over 2 squared plus 5 times 5 over 2 minus 7 which would be what? Negative 25 over 4 minus negative 53 over 4 or something like that. Negative 25 over 4 plus 25 over 2 would be plus 50 over 4, which would give you plus 25 over 4 minus 28 over 4 minus 3 quarters. Anybody, yeah? Give or take 100. So I think that should cover it. Might have had a mental math error in there. It is Monday. All right, minus 3 over 4. So now we know that that is our vertex. And this is, you know, this part is the work from our first derivative test, the statement that we, would, we could write to show that we know that it is a maximum from our first derivative test, since f prime of x is greater than 0 before x equals 5 over 2, and f prime of x is less than 0 after x equals 5 over 2, we know that this point, 5 over 2, comma, negative 3 quarters, is a maximum. And often you could put, I often just write, is a local maximum. Because whether it's an absolute maximum or a local maximum, they're the same thing. While local maximum is just less descriptive. Absolute maximum just says you know for sure there's nothing else. In this parabola, that's something you could say. But in other functions where, like an, a cubic one, where it might have a maximum, then a minimum, and then go up forever, then you would just call it a local maximum. 